Alright, we're here with the next one, man. I know y'all be missing us, man. I know, but we can't be in the office every single day. Y'all get gonna get tired of us, man. So we back with the next one, 2K crossover, and we got our first guest right here. I'm not even gonna introduce these next two. Y'all know them. All City and Jay. Easy I'm playing, man. Introduce yourselves, man. It's not you, Jay Gad, bro. Oh yeah, yeah. Y'all hey. It, it says it right here, man. Y'all know who it is. That's it. I ain't got nothing else. Because they already told me that I can't go five sentences without a pause moment. <laughs> so I'm not, we not going, no, it's just the not countdown. happening today, City. You, 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 that was three sentences, was, or was that two? How many was that? Oh, I know, bro. Right, was... This is one sentence, man. Go ahead, Sam. You got it. But the way I figure, you just let him keep talking and it's eventually going <laughs> to nope. so was... Not, not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what's good, y'all? All City here, man. Thank you for tuning in to the next episode of the 2K Crossover Report. Black Cobra in the building, Brute. You want to set it up, fam? The myth, the legend. He spearheaded the whole movement, man. I ain't going to sure, lie man. to you. Change the game. Black mm -hmm. Cobra in the building, man. You got any words you want to start off with, man? What's going on, people? It's your boy, Black Cobra. I want to thank you guys for having me on this episode. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to this community. And I'm glad you guys could give me this opportunity to share with you. Man, you, man. you've been highly requested, man. I ain't going to front with you. You you pissed a lot of people off. We're going to get to that, man. But first off, we, I want to ask you. We'll get to that. Yeah, 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 yeah. we're going to get to that, man. But first, I want to know, man, how long you been playing like that, man? That play style. So, I want to say towards the end of 2K21, that's when I really started to, like, dabble into what I can do with the posts and the pivots and all that stuff. Yeah. But mostly from 2k22 to right now so it hasn't hasn't been too long man okay uh, before 2k21 i was playing just like everybody else oh so right right just. right right because i remember i don't know if you know when i did that video about you i did a video when i saw i think it was a tiktok and i did a news video i was like yo this is how we should be playing basketball then i saw that, that video went viral bro went viral and I was like, yo, this dude is really picking up a lot of traction. That was a while ago, man. And I ain't gonna lie, you got a lot of negative things coming your way, a lot of positive things coming your way, man. But overall, your play style, I think, was a much needed change in the 2K community, man. Overall, to be honest with you, man. And y'all pause me if I'm talking too much, of course. JN. Nah, right. yeah, you good, bro. You, good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, 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 you're good, you're I think good. it think it's facts, uh, bro. Mm -hmm. uh, the the joint was getting oversaturated with damn near it will boil down to one play style. Yeah. Damn near one play style. And it was just solely the three-point hunting. And 2K didn't help with that by eliminating the mid-range. Uh Black, we were talking beforehand, and I know you mentioned yeah. that the mid-range was always there. But the 6 9 glitch bills were not always there. So you, know, you see what I'm saying? So there's a difference maker there. There's limited limitations on defense now. So 24 is like just the perfect platform for your type of game and a perfect reintroduction to the mid range, man. Mm -hmm. That's my thought so far. Yeah, but going, going back to what you said, um, All City, even mm -hmm. from a, uh, a content creation standpoint, mm -hmm. you didn't really see much variety it was more of the of the same thing so i think that when something different came up that's what gravitated people more towards it because now they said get something right. said it right so um like brute said that comes with positives and it comes with negatives 100 you see that brute side eye bro that means it's coming it's about to go down <laughs> come on man i ain't all, i ain't always <laughs> like drama man damn yeah, he, said, he said he goes like this oh. <laughs> <laughs> damn man that how y'all got me man damn man mm -hmm. oh uh -huh. but I ain't gonna front. It seems like there are a lot of imitators out there, man. I ain't gonna. I feel like you should at least, at least have some type of requirement, some type of, you know, limitation to who is accepted into that group. Because I'm seeing a lot of people being exposed playing your style, my G. Oh, a yeah. lot. <laughs> A lot. Yeah, that's, news. that's news to me, man. <laughs> yeah, the, the Cobra protégés, they aren't living up to your name for sure. 
Uh, and we see them out there. I was telling you guys before we started this podcast that we came up against a, t- a whole team mm-hmm. of Black Cobra protégés. And I, I don't want to say that per se because I don't know if they've saw you. But yeah. considering how much you've influenced the community, it's the only thing that comes to mind. Where the whole entire team from the one to the five is focused on the mid-range. They end up losing that game by 30, 40 points, something like that. They were knocking down everything, but for the whole team to do it doesn't prove to be a winning formula for the whole, unless their defense can uh, stop the three ball on our end. So I'm Um, curious about that. I first, first and foremost, I don't claim nobody other than than me. (laughs) All all those people out there doing what I'm doing. Hey, listen, (laughs) you know, you, you became, you became the face of a whole movement that what it was there before that sim nation movement. It was that's, that's, what I was gonna, that's what I was going to um, touch on. Uh, just to clear this up, I am not Sim Nation. I'm not a part of Sim Nation. But shout out to Sim Nation because uh, a lot of guys that are, who are a part of Sim Nation, those are people who I look at their play style and the way they play the game, and I can respect it because, I, in my opinion, they play the game in a healthy way. Right. They don't. They don't look for the cheese in the game to repetitively use it in order to win games. So I respect those guys. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, Black Cobra represents Black Cobra. I don't represent nobody else, no, not Sim Nation, not whatever nation is uh, is out there. I'm a product of myself. That's it. I don't represent nobody. You see, what now, you don't th- understand is with great power come great responsibility. <laughs> 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 I don't think you understand that. You might not want to represent it, but you... You are, man. You are. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Sim Nation is not really a group of people, to be honest with you, right? It's, it's, it's not. No, it's not. It's exactly what you are. It's, play style. Yeah, it's a play style. It's someone who chooses to play the game like and make it look like real basketball, right? Mm-hmm. Who does more. It's not just about the cheese. Who steps outside of that cheese window and, you mm-hmm. know, decide to play the game the right way? I know you don't because you look at it as a group of people who's as and they make it like that on on Twitter and on the internet because people want to argue and all that stuff. Because the saw who is a 2K dev, he been talking about simulation for a while now. And what he's speaking about, if you look at when he's talking about the games, he's talking about more realistic. They look at it from a realistic standpoint, right? right. So when I say that, I'm saying it loosely, to be honest with you, just because I like pissing certain, you know, a certain part of the community off. <laughs> right? Who are you trying to piss off, bro? You want us to get to it now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. no. Before, before we get into that, before we get into that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we get into that I got I to gotta push back on that a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Because the actual Sim Nation, mm-hmm. You can count the amount of members that are in Simulation on your hands. The when you see the hashtags on Twitter, yeah, them people not a part of the actual Simulation. Even though you see them playing the game a certain type mm. of way, the people who are actually a part of Simulation, those ain't the people who are posting those clips. Right. But the people who are in Simulation, um, I can I can name a few: um, Dazar, uh, Mike Wang. Um, it's a really small, tight knit group of people, and they don't even talk like that. Well, that's why so, we're saying it's turned yeah. into a play style. Yeah, yeah. you know, know what I'm saying. It's not really a thing. It's just people who choose mm-hmm. to play the game that way. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Mm-hmm. So well, what I what I've been seeing in that regard, and I've I've been seeing it uh, not so much now, but back when you know the. Um, the animosity was at an all-time high. Mm-hmm. I've been seeing people use the hashtag in a mocking way. So now you don't know who really is in Sim Nation or, who, or who's right. just like, uh, or just mocking it. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Okay. You know, I, I want to say one thing because it's like in this community, only the strong survive. And, uh, <laughs> you know, they'll test you, man. They'll put you through the ringer to see how you come out on the other end. But when you come out on the other end, it's all love. You get the respect due. And I think uh, Black Cobra, I think you've proven that to one, stand the test of time. 
and that you have strength to go up against the community because the community is not really that aggressive. They'll make it seem like they are. But if you prove right. to be strong enough, you can come out on the other end and, and be just fine. And now here we go. I see you on the other end. Uh, not to say that it won't, you know, you won't get animosity uh, directed towards you. But, man, it's just a beautiful thing to see how the community just kind of, man, he whips the, he took all the punches. He was a punching bag for a little while. And I'm just using that as an analogy. But, you know, he took all this and now he's here and now you started a movement. And now the community is like, it's, it's really a beautiful thing. And that's why I appreciate what, what you've done here, man. Well, I think it's different, though. I mm. think it's bef- because he started the movement, which I am not, mm. I don't think he cared about starting the movement. I think he just showed his stuff because he's trying to be entertaining. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he put in that old school voice and all that stuff, right? I don't think the he Barry really, White. yeah, <laughs> I don't think he really <laughs> set out to start a movement. But because he got that type of clout. Now people are like, bro. I got you. Bro, I'm doing yeah, this style. Know, and I'm eliting this style, and you all saying mm. that's good. And he pissed some people off, right? Which is, mm. I'm gonna get to the question: Why you continue <laughs> to piss off the comp community, man? All right, so <laughs> <laughs> I gotta, I gotta get to it, man. Let me start. Huh? So let, let me start. Adiante. <laughs> Like, like all city mentioned before, when I started doing this, I had no intention of being a content creator. Mm. I had no intention of being a leader or starting yeah. a movie. I was just posting my clips, man. I was just posting my clips. And it just so happened that, you know, some other sports uh, social media outlets like Overtime and uh, I think the NBA, they, they started, you no know, catching and winning. They started posting it too, and then it went viral. But what really, what really pushed the button, that red button that you don't push, was shout out to Uncle Demi. Uncle Demi was the one that pushed that button. Because I remember I had posted a clip about, I was posting some, some red clips, some random red clips. And I said something about, like, uh, I've been working so hard on this, yada, yada, and it's paying off. Uncle Demi was like, yo, this right here takes more skill than what uh, the left-right people be doing. Mm. I remember this, it, too. I remember it, too. I remember it, too. Mm. You mentioned it. Regardless, regardless of how I feel about that, it. that's what set it off. It and it. those weren't my words. Those were Uncle Demi's words. <laughs> and what I noticed at, when he said that, the view started going up and up and up. I've never seen any 2K nothing get 3 million point, 3.6 million views ever, ever in my life. And once that started happening, I started peeping the sneak disses hmm. from some really, some really popular high up content creators. I started peeping. Hmm. All right, I'll, I'll put it like this. You know when somebody compliments you? Yeah. And then it's followed with a but. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw a lot of that, a lot a lot of backhanded Damn. compliments. I'm mad I ain't got the names. I will call the names, man. I know you try not to. I don't want to go down. I, I know, I know, I know. I, I, I usually <laughs> go there for you. Don't worry, man. <laughs> yeah, was, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It was kind of disappointing because here's wow. an opportunity where you know you see something different. And oh. it's getting some recognition. Why why not take that opportunity to, you know, give that person their flowers? Why do you feel the need to to tear it down and degrade it? Why not just say, yo, props to you, bro. Keep it pushing. Mm-hmm. But what I or noticed just not say anything at all. Yeah, that, or, or not say anything. But what I noticed was, hey, that's cool, bro, but you're not doing this over here. Okay. I didn't say anything for a long time. I, I peeped who was saying what, when they were saying it, and there were some content creators who just completely went off the rails with it. Mm. And it was completely clowning, nothing but disrespect. I still didn't say anything. I peeped it, I made note of who it was, I didn't say anything. But it gets to a point where enough is enough. Like you, you gotta say, I had to say something. Mm-hmm. And I'm a I'm a person where if I'm gonna if I'm gonna argue with you about something, 
I'm not going to argue with you about how, how I feel or how you, how you feel about the situation. I'm going to argue with you based on the, the reality. Yeah. And it got to a point to where I just had to keep repeating myself and repeating myself and repeating myself. <laughs> and it's like, let, y'all let me know if I'm tripping. Mm. If I need to go to a place where not many people play in order to prove that what I do works, doesn't that mean in general that what I do works? Mm. Am I, am I <laughs> off? Or? Okay. That, that is what I don't understand about mm-hmm. the comp community. Like if, if I don't play in your environment, so what? Most people don't. Why yeah. do I need to play in your environment in order to prove that what I do is valid if most people don't play in your environment? That's just that's just my thinking. If I'm off, let me know. I think... Well, yeah. I'm sorry, go ahead, bro. No, no, I think the problem with the comp community, you, they think you got to prove it to them. Right. That's where I was leaning, yeah. <laughs> that's where I was leaning. Because mm-hmm. I mean, I'm I'm trying to take no shots. I already took so much shots out of the comp community already because <laughs> they just irritates me overall. I'm mm-hmm. sorry, right? All right. Um, but there's a lot of jealousy in it, and there's a lot of I think I should be at the pinnacle of two cases. You have to prove it to me that goes on within that comp mm-hmm. community. Unfortunately, All right. So. I think instead of embracing, they always, uh, if you're not doing what we do or could do it where we do it, which is a very, listen to me, barely anybody Tiny. plays in those leagues, yeah. to be honest with you. Tiny. Because if you're going Pro-Am, do you play Pro-Am at all? Man, I've played about 15 Pro-Am since 24 came out. <laughs> at, about 15 games. That's 15 more than me. Yeah. But... <laughs> <laughs> But if you play pro they will tell you this is not the right pro Yeah. This is that, you're not okay, playing. That, that, you said mm-hmm. it. It's like levels to pro Yeah. Mm-hmm. That doesn't make all right. <laughs> so a person can't turn on the game and access comp. They have to go through a you gotta go on a on a website and sign up and in order to get to, to comp pro am that's the real comp. comp. That's the real comp. <laughs> that's the real comp. And in it goes quotations, up. man. In quotations. <laughs> and then that's when you the do real that, comp in quotations, league. man. Oh, yeah. You, you even know, when I, you do that, it's gotta be this league at this time playing mm, against this team. Mm-hmm. And oh, by the way, you know, me, me and the five people that's gonna be playing and uh defending you and making sure that you can't get off what you wanna do. You know. <laughs> you know it's like making it to the NBA. Either. It's and not then, good enough. Yeah. You need yeah, you to you need to beat the you know the championship Lakers. Yeah, it, you ain't like negative. You ain't you ain't LeBron. You yeah, ain't. negative. And nobody, yeah. you know, uh I think the people who entertain it is one thing, but uh, it didn't even need to be entertained in the first place. It just is what it is. Uh, but again, like you said, you just said that <laughs> what I do works in general. <laughs> That's it. So we're talking about 99.8% people do not access comp program. It's probably 10 million people playing this game. You got a hundred serious people that's trying to, well, what, 150, 200 people, whatever you want to call it. It's less than one, 1% of 1%. Right. So if you can mm-hmm. do it against everybody else, mm-hmm. but you just don't have the desire to prove it against these people, then like you said, doesn't it prove that in general, what I do works, works. And all right, so let's 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 say I entertain that. Let's say I do join a pro am team. In order for me to be successful in comp pro am, I would have to have a team yes. structured around me yes. in right. order for me to be successful yes. in comp pro am. Because winning a, a any whether it's comp or whether it's in the park or whatever, winning a game in two K is that's a team thing. Mm-hmm. So regardless of what I do, me me winning is a team thing. You win or losing will be determined so by the team around you. Pro, I can go to Comp Pro and drop 50 and lose. 100%. Then they'll be like, oh, you, but you lost. 
Yeah. I can go to Comp Pro Am, win, and then don't score. But you, say, oh, but you, weren't, you weren't able to do what you. So it's like, what's the point? Goal post. The goal post, <laughs> the goal post always going to be moved, bro. That, that, that goal post is always going to be moved. It's just it's moved for everybody every year. It's just how it is. Uh, new moves, new skill set. It's just the goal post is going to be moved. Somebody wants to claim that spot. And if somebody brand new, not that saying that you're brand new to 2K, yeah. but some brand new on the scene uh, comes in, they definitely not handing that off to you. You know what's it, the thing, It's man. just what it was. I don't think they even understand why so much people gravitate towards you. It's not they thinking understand. your way is the best way to win all mm -hmm. the time. It's just your way is the best way to look at the game. It's visually pleasing. It's entertaining to watch. Right, hmm. As, like, the NBA could pick up your clips like they did. ESPN could hmm. pick up your clips because hmm. it looks like the real thing. Hmm. I think I, I got to disagree on that one. I think that they do understand why, but they just don't like it. Probably it's like saying I, I don't think, like Kobe. Probably, <laughs> probably. Yeah, yeah. I've think, been saying I that all my life, man. But <laughs> and I think that. They know more people enjoy watching it, but they just don't like the fact that people, people enjoy, enjoy it. watching it. Right. So help me understand, son, uh, Cobra. Yeah. When you play your game, like when you're on the court, I'm I'm considering the idea that you watch basketball and you right. emulating your play style behind what you've seen IRL. Right. So what type of play style or player do you emulate from? Kobe. There, thank you. Kobe. <laughs> yes. Kobe. So your play style emulates Kobe. IRL people love seeing Kobe. Love seeing Kobe's gameplay. But in 2K, seeing Go Kobe's gameplay, it's not sufficient. Is that what's happening here? When when you say not sufficient, what do you mean? I mean, I'm not saying I'm I'm speaking in like a devil's advocate sort of terms. But what I mean to say is for the comp scene is not sufficient uh, okay so mm -hmm. it wouldn't be sufficient in that case because you need more it, it requires a lot more for you to win playing my weight my play style than their play style mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. my play style you have to time 100 percent of the shots that you take you don't have to time everything in comp you can you can rim run sorry boo you can just run. No, I'm sorry. That's why I play like that. Can... I'm efficient. <laughs> My play style is LeBron James like rim yeah. run. If you help, pass. <laughs> okay. Mm. There's mm. there's too many ways that my game can fail. There's not many ways that a comp play style. Mm. It's mm. more it's more e efficient because of the mechanics of the game. Hundred percent. I can fail much easier playing the way that I play because I have to time my shots, because I take contested shots, because I, I do uh, certain things, do double teams and, su and such and so forth. Comp just does what's easiest to do. Ooh. And if it's easiest to do, it generates more wins. Oh. That's, that's just what I think about the situation. That's just mm. my opinion. That's yeah. just my logic on the situation. Mm. I got you. Fire. <laughs> Let's go. You starting a fire. <laughs> okay, you see, you see, you see, you see. That's why I act like keep pissing the comp community off. Hey, it's a thought process. I think a lot of players in the community feel like, hey, that's just cheese. I think we all kind of felt like that for years. That's just cheese. It's an exploit. That's why you're getting open from the Trey Young crab animation. And, and don't get me wrong. When you try to learn it, it is complicated. It is a little difficult. It does take timing to activate that way back when the Trey Young crab. Now it's a different sort of crab that we're working. But I understand that it takes skill. The fact that you're, from what you're speaking about, Black Cobra, I think it does take a lot more to kind of activate in the way in which you've recently been performing, especially like I see in the clips, uh, where you're really honing in I think it's more of a more a rhythm thing of uh, understanding mm. the spacing and stuff like that. Mm, mm-hmm. There's mm -hmm. more on the same animation. I think it's similar. -ish. You there's, broke up. There's way more room for error. Mm. So, um, like like you said, um, All City, mm. like guys. When I look at guys like Steezo, that 
take skill. You can't look at what Steezo does and say that don't take skill. You got to learn the mechanics of the game. When to, you know, flick the stick. How to, That takes skill. X, X. But you don't see what Steezo is doing on the comp scene. Mm-hmm. I was about to say that. When Steezo played mm-hmm. comp. Yeah. When Steezo played comp, he does not do all this spinning, spinning stuff. He right. plays a way more efficient game. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> I've seen him in a lot of wagers. In wagers, when he... Like, if he get a huge lead, then he's going to start having some fun. Right. But and, until then... He's very efficient. That's, that's, that, that was going to bring me to my... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut nobody there you off. Go, there you go. Um, shoot. Damn. <laughs> you good, bro. You good. Yeah. Hey, man. Yeah, yeah bro. Right. We was talking about Steezo. Yeah, 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 yeah. In terms of um, what Steezo um, doing, working in uh, the comp pro-am, mm-hmm. uh, if I were to even attempt to continue to do what I do in a comp pro am scene, even if it should work, it's not going to result to winning, like like All City said, mm-hmm. uh, because there's too many things that have to go right in my favor. The chances of that happening is is, is, is slim to none. Yeah. Um, so you have to kind of adapt your game to play in that environment mm. in order to be successful, and adapting might. I'm sorry, I don't mean to piss nobody off with this, but if I if I'm if I, if I have to change my game to play that way to be successful winning, I refuse to do it because I'm not gonna enjoy playing the game. I will never enjoy playing 2K if I have to play the way that they play in order to win games. I will never enjoy it. And if you look at the amount of people who complain about 2K. That's how they play the game, and they're miserable. They're miserable. They <laughs> they hate playing two K. Damn. They, they hate boy, boy, jumping some Man, hot fire on Twitter. On Twitter. Super hot fire. Uh, no, I think you're right. I think uh, even the like, I don't even think there's a lot of people on that scene that are really enjoying the game fully right now. Uh, it's rinse and repeat. Everything Yo, is repetitive. Same. I moves, think same they style. enjoyed it in years. It's been a while, right? It's been a while, bro. Honest with you. Mm-hmm. You are speaking so much mm-hmm. facts. <laughs> it's just what it is, man. And I, at the end of the day, man, I play 2K to have fun. That's it. I get home from work. I load the game up. I hop in wreck with my friends. And we ball out. Oh, man. The day I stop having fun on 2K. Yeah. Stop playing. I stop playing, yeah, man. Yeah, on. That's why I call this the comp career. community. I call the comp community the complainers. That's what comp mm, stands the for. The complainers. For me. <laughs> mm. Because they complain the most, to be honest. Mm. They got the most problems with the games and they haven't enjoyed the game in years, from my understanding. And you just hit it right on the nail. Bro. I ain't going to lie. I don't want to put, you know, I don't want to make it seem for the folks that are watching because, I, you know, there's some good folks that come to mind, like Laker fan, Joe Knows. Right. Uh, and what they do out there and how they, they're using content creation and having fun, talking about sets and how to run it and trying new bills. But And there's just, you know, different fairness, ways. I don't think, and hmm. I'm, I'm not trying, I don't think Laker fan or Joe Knows are comp players like that. They are content kind of creators who eventually say, you know what, I'm going to add this to my content and they decide to go in with that mindset. So that's why mm. they are looking at it from a different perspective. If you look at how Lakers fans play mm. and how Joe Knows play, they don't play like the regular comp players. That's right. right. To be honest with you. They're like, that's Joe Knows plays like me. He got a rim runner. Okay. Play five out. That, five mm. out. He got a rim runner like LeBron. And he dots you up if you help. And going to kill you all day if you don't. So he plays... Same thing with Laker fan. He plays with a slasher as well. Sometimes he plays with a big. They don't play the regular comp way. You know what I'm saying? But they, you would say they are on the comp scene right now, Yeah, they, right? Yes, exactly. So mm-hmm. they decided mm-hmm. to add that into their... You know what I'm saying? They're not the regular stereotypical comp player gotcha. because they, that's not what they're about. They are mm-hmm. content creators first and mm-hmm. comp player some way in the back as a, you know, a little something And extra. that's why... I, I was kind of, I didn't want to make it seem like we're out here putting everybody in just one pot and stirring. No, 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 it's not one pot. You know what I'm saying? A lot of Mm -hmm. comp players I respect, like Sid. He got a few, he got a lot I respect. Don't get me wrong. And I always Mm -hmm. 
try to highlight it. And they know the ones that them know, they know I don't, I'm not, yeah. then I'm talking about. Trust mm -hmm. me. As I said, who the cap fit, let them wear it. The ones right, right, right. Who, who feel offended, I'm probably talking to them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm probably talking to them. So, mm -hmm. yeah. It's not everybody. Of course not. Everybody could never be wrong. Everybody could never be on the negative. But, uh, yeah, they were going to... <laughs> <laughs> they won't go in that black over kind of heavy just because yeah. of how he chose to play different. You know what I'm saying? So well, well, to, to all say to you guys' point, like, and, and I've said it before, there are certain people in the comp community who I have the utmost respect for. Mm -hmm. um, Laker fan being one of them, Joe knows. But as a collective, the community as a whole, I just, I cannot, res I can't respect the community, man. I can't. Mm -hmm. they're, they're not respectable. The, the, the behavior of and I don't and I don't know the age range. I would hope that they're young. <laughs> I would right, I would hope that it's mostly children. Mm -hmm. But a lot of them they're they're too old to be act to be behaving that way. Yeah. And it, it it's not upsetting. It's, it's disappointing, really, to where you have such an opportunity to you know extend an olive branch and uplift somebody, and then you choose to. To try and tear them down in in such a, a manner like that, it's 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 disappointing, really. Well, what do you say to? I've heard this because uh, I've been on the scene, uh, battling in your name. Not like we even knew each other like that. Uh, it's just I didn't for the same reasons you're speaking about right now, tearing down one man for the simple fact of his gameplay is silly to me. Sure. So I get on the scene and, and say some stuff and folks are telling me Black Cobra's not innocent. He antagonizes folks. Well, okay. What do you say to that? To that, I would say I, I challenge anybody, anybody, if you're watching this now or later, find me anywhere where I've said something antagonizing comp and it's not a response find find it for me mm -hmm. find me anywhere where i've taken shots initially unprovoked mm -hmm. everything that i've said that could even possibly be perceived as disrespect or a shot is always a response mm -hmm. i don't take shots first and to my point about that I make sure not to do that because I know I don't just represent myself. I represent my my family, the God that I serve. I move with respect. And if I'm going to interact with you initially, I'm always going to keep it respectful. So nobody can ever say that Black Cobra did this to me first. Never. You will never hear that from me. Never. That's not the case. And I challenge anybody to find me where I initiated any type of malice towards anybody. <laughs> you ain't going to find it. They're going to be searching. They're sure <laughs> yeah. going to be searching. Yeah. <laughs> fair enough. Yeah. Fair, fair enough. I ain't mad at you, man. But I mean, it is what it is, man. I'm glad you came on here. I said your piece, but we, we ain't going to spend the rest of the entire podcast mm -hmm. on these guys, man. We got a few things we got to talk about as well, man. Mm -hmm. um, Zens and cheating has been a, a hot topic in the 2K community. And it's, I ain't gonna front, like every other day I'm seeing evidence and more evidence of it as well. I want to know if y'all are actually feeling like, or if y'all think cheating is a big issue in NBA 2K24 currently, man. All right, Jay, you've been a little quiet over there, man. I'm gonna start yeah, off with you on this one. It, it never has bothered me. The only the only time I'm going to care about somebody is in it is if they can hit the shot consistently when I'm playing defense. If they can't do that, it, it, it doesn't matter. And I'm not talking about one in a million or something that's, you know, that, that it, if it happens every single time and I'm right yeah. there and it, then I, I haven't run into that yet, except for like one time, but I was on the defending the guy, the one play he hit the shot. So I don't, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know if that would have happened the entire game. I could tell he was sending like from the jump because I'm like, he's taking those types of shots with no hesitation in, in random can be you know, theater. Could be skill What's gap, that? Jay. Could be skill gap. Could, yeah, okay. Um, not at that point in time. At, at that point in time, it couldn't be skill gap. He was just taking the shots with confidence, I guess. But he was shooting with way too much confidence. And I was just like, yeah, yeah, he's cheating because he shot like 12%. But that game, he shot 100%. It didn't matter who was in his face. And I was like, ah, you know, I just chalked that one up. I said, hey, what do y'all think? Chalked it up to whatever. And I never, I haven't run into anybody like that. Um... Okay. Since then, 
So so the guys that really have it on lock, they're few and far between. But um, the ones that we see all the time, those are a lot of those guys. Is just like, hey, I I'm, I didn't gave up trying to, you know, if you can't beat them, join them type mentality. So, yeah, so. But I don't I don't think it's a big deal because I can hit shots and everybody can shoot now. Like Call of Duty, everybody can shoot now, and then they not really hitting that many contested shots right now. So at least yeah. since the last time I played the game. Mm-hmm. All right. Corey, what, what do you think about it? I, I echo the same sentiments, man. I, as often as I play the game, which ain't that much, but the time that I do play, I, I can't say that I've ran into situations where I think somebody got a Zen. Maybe one time from the beginning of 2K24 till now, but, in general, I can't really say that I come across people who I can say like, nah, this person is cheating. I haven't haven't had that experience too much, man. And I don't know whether, but here's here's my thing. Is is everybody who hits contested shots cheating? Or because I'm seeing that a lot. If 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 somebody's hitting nah. contested shots, oh he, he got sick. I'll say probably if they do it consistently. consistently. In that if it's every single day, yeah, that once makes, or twice, eh, I hit I some once, uh, once in a while. You know what I'm yeah, saying? so consistently, yeah, and confidently, yeah. That's yeah, the thing. I've, I've been sent some. Them. I've been sent some clips. You know, a lot of people send me stuff. <laughs> a lot. Yeah. I just do a very small percentage on my videos, where people come down with some confidence and taking those contested shots and hitting them and just green them like. Yeah, <laughs> all right. A lot of confidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I've experienced that a few times as well. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So yeah, that that's the difference right there. But all right, you guys in city? Yeah. So I for you guys, I, I normally play uh, rec squads, right? And I do this on a daily basis, day in, day out. And there's not a time that I can remember really thinking someone who had a zen. Yeah. So when I consider that I, that 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 experience, I'm saying, well, then what was all these changes to shooting uh, that we have? Uh, every other every player out there has to go through because that's supposed to be combating the cheaters, the Zens, the Titans. Uh, that's why we got these changes in the first place. And I'm like, it seems like a wasted effort. If I'm not even, it could be my game mode. It could very well be that's wrecked rough. squads. Okay. Yeah, but uh, in rec squads, every day I'm playing for hours on end and can't remember a time when I've seen it. Really? Yeah, somebody that we yeah. just missed up. I mean, I think yeah. I think they just aimed it at 2 tech and Dynasty. I'm just going to keep it a stack with you. Mm. They looked at those guys and they said, hey, look, these guys are top prospects. Mm. And if they are doing something that is that is questionable, we can't have them getting into the league doing something mm-hmm. that's questionable, even though if you ask me, I think that's how a lot of people got into the league, but Woo, that's right. that's a whole nother thing. But right. um, well, I'm, I'm just saying because mm-hmm. there's very few people I've seen shoot the same way in the league. Shock is one of them. He's probably the only person I've ever seen that shot the same shots mm. in the league that he mm. shot when people said that he was cheap. So mm. regardless of cheating? if he was cheating or not, was he cheating? regardless of if he was, was cheating, he cheating or not, I'm what? asking you if he was cheating. I find you kind of talking was over. Cheating. <laughs> was he cheating? Um, oh. Was he cheating when? Oh, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, in the video, video that I put out. Oh yeah, I mean he was that, that, that was irrefutable evidence. When that, when that when that needle popped from here to here and, and it disappeared and came back. Oh yeah, he was cheating in that one. But but. That, that, he wasn't on stream. He wasn't doing that and whatever. So then he came back and <laughs> became the fade king. And then he got drafted. Yeah. And then he did it in the league. Yeah. So it's like, mm-hmm. like yeah, the okay. stuff that, I mean, he was fading in the league. He's one of the only people that could do it. Bear was doing it too, but they weren't doing it at the level that Chop was doing it. And he won the, uh, and he won the, the MVP, MVP of the league or something right. like that. So, so like, if you're going to, if you're gonna demand exoneration and say you're not doing something or what have you, like, like yeah. on the like what he's saying is on the videos that y'all are talking about, I'm not cheating in them. I, I'm really doing this. Mm-hmm. But yeah, when with with that one video where that joint disappeared and reappeared, yeah, yeah, yeah that, that was that was definitely something unscrupulous going on there. I don't know what it was, yeah. but it was definitely something unscrupulous. <laughs> there was only one way for that to happen, and um, yeah, but um. <laughs> 
it is what it is. But so I think that what they did was saying all that to say this. I think that what they did was they want to aim it at the comp community because we don't see it that much. Let's be honest. We don't see it that much. So they had to be aiming it at the comp community because that's the only concentration of people that that were doing it. We've seen people coming out. And then I'm, this is not conjecture. Right, wait, this wait, is, wait. We, we saw people something. coming wait, out. Let me ask you something. We play COD, right? Yeah. How often do you see it in COD? Not that often either. No. No. But it's still but, considered a huge issue within the comp community still. It, yeah, it's, it's, it's a huge issue within the comp community and the content creation community because those guys want to make themselves look better than the next person. So anywhere where you find where somebody wants to make themselves look markedly better than the next, exactly. I think that's where you're going to find it. Because mm. we don't care. Down, down down here, I mean, just going to keep it on. Oh, hold on. That's wrong button. I'm sorry. We do not care. <laughs> Hey, we don't care down here, bro. I don't care enough to cheat. I'm not, I don't need to hit shots that much. I don't, it, it doesn't bother me. Everybody know that I'm trash. Uh, right. Everybody, everybody <laughs> knows that it's a, it's a mixed bag when you pass that ball to me in the corner. You know, it, it doesn't matter. So it, it is what it is. I'm not, I don't think any of us are trying to be that good at the game, but I think they aimed it at that community. And I think that it might have done its job because we're not seeing everybody do the things that they would do. I mean, like, it might have been si a silent type thing, but we're not seeing people putting them same clips oh, up it's, talking it's about working. I, I could tell you yeah. this, Jay. I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> yeah. I think the devices work. In fact, I think, in fact, not think, right? Oh, it definitely works. Now, don't I, get me wrong. No, yeah, I think but... it's worse than we thought. Really? I think it's worse than we think, to be honest with you. Um, hmm. Someone actually hit me up today. The person who... Now I have a few people in the Discord and stuff, right? Remember I was right. telling you about that Project Thanos, right? Yeah. They renamed it to Project Helios. Ah. <laughs> right. Fun. And now you do not that. need any of these devices. All you need is that remote play, of course. Yeah, all you need. And that's and so you saw shoot everyone with his guy. And right. they were they were trying. You see, this is what my mama used to always say, people throw a rock and hide the hand. And this is what they or they or they try to smoke in mirrors or from the the you know the greatest movie one of the second greatest movies <laughs> greatest movie ever created was Shawshank Redemption but uh, the second greatest movie Usual Suspects the greatest trick that the devil played was convincing the world that he did not exist what did they try to tell us for the first four three months of this game you can't do it on PlayStation you can only do it on Xbox because it's in only working on Xbox now we're seeing people exclusively do it on PlayStation so it's like. Yeah. yeah, they said remote play, and it's for both consoles in all fairness, though. Yeah, well, of course, of course, on both is, yeah. planes. Um, so yes, I got confirmation that I don't think the devs could even do anything about it. Right? Ain't now. nothing you can do about it. No. So I not. think it's just something we have to accept. And for these but, tournaments now, which is something I think a lot of the organizers gotta talk about now, you can't have online tournaments. No. When it comes to comp or the pro am scene or uh, these things no. that matter for money at again, because you can't tell who is who anymore. You can't, and there is no right. way for them to really. And I, and I think that's really what they were trying to aim it at. That's why they were trying to aim yeah. it because they can't tell who they can't tell who's good anymore. Mm -hmm. And maybe maybe they have seen this over the years that the guys that we're getting the product ain't the same. Yeah, and remember, so it's like so. We, so right. now we're trying to stop that before it happened. And you're right because remember, Splash did continue to say, "Yo, a lot of people who's recruiting mm -hmm. is looking yeah. at Tutak and um, mm -hmm. Dynasty, and they want to know if they're cheating." They <laughs> so you, you the might deal. be right. Yeah. So they probably was putting pressure on 2K to make some changes with the shooting to kind of, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, we got to figure this thing out. But I don't. I don't think it's nothing that you can do if somebody gets in there illegitimately this year i don't think it's nothing you can do about it because like you said all you need is a little 25 dollar cap card because you're not streaming so the quality doesn't matter so you just get your little 25 dollar cap card off amazon and then what they said you just need remote play remote, play, remote play yeah yeah and you're in there for less than yeah, a zen really. yeah yeah for <laughs> real for real all right um and to close out i want to ask y'all what y'all think about the current state of the 2k community man if i feel like we lost something over the past month or so in terms of the community and their interest in the game. I know a lot of people, I know the game, and you can get on and get games back to back and back. Yes, we know that. But right. it feels like we lost something. All right. I want to start with you, Black Cobra, you know, on this one. I think 
new games come out, man. Um, new games come out that are uh, mm. more enticing and enjoyable to uh, certain people, so they kind of gravitate more towards that when 2K is not really popping for them anymore. Uh, like Fortnite, Fortnite just came out. When Fortnite comes out, that's a wrap. Yeah, Forget about it. For, when it comes out. yeah, for a lot of so, people. Yeah, yeah, when when new games come out and uh, two and a certain type of person is not having fun with 2K, then that's it. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> Y'all got anything on top of that? You think that's it? I I no, I do. I mm-hmm. think uh, 2K's reputation is preceding itself, and it's not a good thing like 2K would have you believe. Uh, 2K doesn't understand that they've developed a reputation of a lack of integrity. Uh, And I think Mm -hmm. that that has spread far and wide. And the player base, you know, it's one thing to have that as your reputation in regards to microtransactions, aggressive approach to microtransactions. It's one thing to have that. But when the gameplay lacks on top of that, or you get these weird bugs like the camera zooming out on a jump ball animation... Uh, mm-hmm. these weird bugs that make it seem like it's not a triple A title, like it's not one of the leading sports games on PlayStation and Xbox. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, their reputation is preceding themselves, and, and uh, people are taking notice. And like Black Cobra said, they're just moving on and trying something new. What's the deal with with? I think uh, the player base is starting to realize there's more than. 2k there's other games out there that you could actually have fun get on enjoy yourself pay for entertainment not pay for frustration uh and and another thing i want to add to that as well is that and this goes for all games in the gaming industry right now they need to start dropping finished products and stop having the consumer pay full price for unfinished products Ain't gonna uh, this, you, you, you get what I'm saying? They, <laughs> these developers, first, the consumer has gotten accustomed to receiving an unfinished product. Yes. And the developers are now accustomed to releasing early to appease their shareholders. They're releasing early, unfinished, the day before, just drop. Mm-hmm. That joint is a complete mess. Mm-hmm. And it was nothing but big hype that got them a lot of money on the yep. forefront, and it's about to collapse. Oh, they already uh, shut that down. Yeah, it's, de- yeah, it's done. Huh? The service down like Ain't a couple of so? days ago, and they said uh, we're not. There will, there will be no future releases. There will be no future updates. There really? will be no future mm. anything. The game is now shut down. What you well, got is what you done. got, and we got no. A service. day before. The day before. Oh yeah, I see that foolishness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, bro. That, that's why I don't think I don't think it's going anywhere, um, Paul City. Yeah. Like this, mm. that door already been open, yeah. so you can't you can't close it. Once mm. once companies have gotten used to getting your money before the game is finished, that's it. There's no going back. Mm. There's no going back. They're going to keep releasing bits and, and parts of the game after so that they can get your money. Yeah, facts. As opposed to facts. giving you... A, those days are gone, man. Those <laughs> days are gone. <laughs> I remember... I'll be honest with you. I, 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 ain't, I ain't even... I ain't even that mad at paying for an advanced copy if that's what they want to call it, whatever it is. Just finish the damn game. That's the mm. problem. They, they mm. never finish it. It, mm. it. it never gets finished. It's mm. it's like what you got is what you got. Like if, if I'm paying to get it a little bit early, we with the understanding that it's not like how Outriders was. Okay, cool. Outriders was not completely finished. They finished the game. It was a good game. Then they came back the next year and dropped another title and tried to make us pay $60 for it. I wasn't going for it. But the whole point is, if I'm going to get an un or do like Fortnite, they at least finished the game. You didn't have to pay for the game, but they at least finished it. But that never quite happens with 2K, and I don't know how mm. much of that is on the, on the developers, and I don't know how much of that is on the community itself because we can't agree what a finished game should look like. So... Mm. That's why we always say 2K just needs to come out with their vision, put it out there, keep going it. toward that, and yes, and leave it. But, mm. I mean, if you're paying for if, if it's just like we all paying for an advanced copy, fine, but at least finish the game, bro. But they, I, <laughs> I, I can't say that that's happened. There needs to be some regulation. Regulation is going to, it's bound to happen. See, I know Black Cobra, I'm not as uh, skeptical because I, you, you mentioned, uh, that the door is open and that's it. But there's always room for innovation to make up for, and I'm not saying that you're you're referring to the idea that there's no innovation, but what I mean to say is that there's going to be another company that does have the integrity and drops a pro- finished product. That's some other 
triple a titles do i think of yeah. like elden ring something like that gta it's gonna take them another two years 12 years to get that game so mm. so i think somebody else is gonna open the door whether that's some sort of cloud gaming or something's gonna happen and eventually maybe due to lawsuits as you guys know 2k is going through another class action suit right now right. where the elisa sort because we're in the process right now where the the monies that people are giving are like a lot and uh when it right. gets to this point that's when you know they making a lot of money yeah, we're giving a lot of money a lot of consumers okay, right, right? <laughs> so a lot of consumers are giving a lot of money and that's mm -hmm. when things can actually change for the better for the consumer uh with lawsuits and things of that nature but I, I like to remain optimistic on that that issue. We may be 10 years out or something like that. I want to believe that there's still innovators out there coming out of school, yeah. uh, you know, finding new ways to accommodate players and just entertainment in general. Because gaming in itself, is, if it's not already, I know it's headed to be the number one entertainment venue. Gaming, number one. Right. Uh, so... I would like to believe that, you know, uh, countries and states yeah. would regulate certain things uh, to make it a good experience. And they have to some degree with the loot boxes and stuff. So that mm -hmm. that has been the case. Uh, even 2K was mm -hmm. under fire for that from the government with the loot boxes. So that's why they that's why they largely went away from that with the with my team. You see how my team is like you really buy the card. It's not like auction house yeah. type thing. Or, you know, you're mm -hmm. still ripping packs, but the they have to change. They had to change the odds or what have you on them. So. It's, it's a lot different than it was in 2K16. So they, they get involved, but I don't know how much, if they'll get involved, you know, anymore. All mm -hmm. right, fair enough. So City basically saying because the game wasn't complete, a lot of people just got frustrated as hell and just got tired of yeah. playing it. And okay. you add that there's so many other games coming out. The 20, yes. uh, 2023 was like one so. of the best years for gaming. Yeah. Uh, so with all these games coming out, they have options. We're on next right. gen consoles. So let me ask you all this: Is there yeah. anything they could do this year to kind of gain the interest of, of people that would like to come back to the game? This no. year for twenty four. Yes. Mm. No, yes. I don't. I don't think. They gotta so. hope that Christmas Christmas pulls it through or something. But they I've never seen it. the interest. I've never seen the interest be gone before january it's like the interest is just gone before we're not even in january right. it's normally toward the end of january where it falls off a cliff and then then we fighting you know to try to but now, now it's, it, it was done mid-november and i just think it's just people just got tired i'm sick of y'all messing with this game i'm done <laughs> you know what changed though what was it What's now that? let's keep it a buck when two when 24 dropped we had the dev team the damn mm -hmm. near entire dev team rallying behind the game. Right. They were out there communicating with us in spaces, on Twitter, responding, Reddit. They were alive and well. And it made it feel from a consumer, from a player, a veteran. I say, and I was doing this in my content. I was saying this in the content as well. It makes me feel comfort thinking this is a new day. Yo, yeah. we, we got a new day where we could connect and take this journey with the devs to get this complete game so that in the future we have complete games drop and then they up and disappeared again they disappeared. the ultimate disappointment ultimate disappointment so i think i think mm, i'm sorry they get yeah. flustered they get flustered as soon as they got start getting too much negative i believe it tweets and stuff like that. so that's when they run into hiding when everything is positive and good but as soon as they did that patch i remember the patch that changed mm. the shooting and everybody start going at them mm. I think that's when I saw Mike Wayne start posting GIF. He posts a GIF on Reddit as a response instead of, you know, posting. Mm -hmm. Usually he yeah. usually explains himself very well or whatever. And I think that's when they go into hiding. And you're right. You're right. When they're more into it and more interactive with the community, the community is always in a better state, to be honest yeah. with you. So you definitely hit on the nail with that one, man. Mm. For real, for real, for real. All right, y'all, man. So um, that's it for today, man. Y'all got any closing statements before we head out? We're going to start off with yeah. City. Let me, let me start off with you with this one, man. Closing statements, man. What do we got out there? Right now, I got to say that things are dry. Uh, 
and I want them to get better. I'm going to I'm I'm going to put forth my personal best effort in my own little world to encourage a different approach to 2K. Let's have fun. Let's bring it back to fun. We got the shooting back. They have accommodated us in in a certain way where we got some shooting back and and we got to find ways to have fun again. Um and I'm going to do my my I'm going to put forth my little effort to make that happen. That's my closing statement. All right. Jay uh, nothing really. I don't, I don't, I don't have too much, man. I think we said it all. I probably said too much. Uh, other than um, I I really don't know. I, I it's it's I I I've, I've this last week I've been flustered with the game itself. Like I've been playing twos with Mac, and it this game feels like the worst game ever because I've been playing twos that. with Mac. Why you got to do my guy Mac man. like that, man? Yeah, man, that's messed up, man. <laughs> it ain't Mac, it's the twos, man. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's the worst ever because I've been playing with Mac. Yeah, yeah. on the twos. Or whatever, All right. Man. It is what it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, Cobra, man, got any final statements, man? Oh, other than what's been said, uh, just keep it respectful, man. Uh, when you're communicating with people online, uh, especially if it's your first time talking to somebody, just keep it respectful. And so if you don't, oh, if you go don't go respectful, you can't complain about how a person responds. Mm. Facts. That's true. So Best what you're saying is preach. somebody just somebody just putting under your tweet, "Hey man, I box this shit. like that's, that's, probably the, that's probably not the best way to, to get your attention." Is what you're saying. I got you. facts. And that you preaching, but that's something I preach. You could ask Jay. That's something I'm big on right. Yeah, you got to approach me. You approach Trust me with me. respect. We we can be respectful. And that's how grown and, men know. think overall. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest with you, <laughs> you know well, what I mean. We are pioneers here, yeah. We're a lot older than a lot of people in the community, and right. whether the community wants, whether the young folks in the community want to believe it or not, you need us. You need us for the betterment, not just on 2K, make you a better player. You just need our influence so you can see what men look like. Mm. A lot of times people aren't able to have that opportunity to see what a man even looks like, a man of integrity, a man that conducts himself with respect. Uh, so hopefully that resonates with y'all, man. Facts, man. And Cobra, man, I appreciate you, man. I want to thank you personally, man, for Big taking facts. some time, you know, to bless us Big on facts. this podcast, thank my you. G. You know what I mean? me all man it's a pleasure it's an honor to even be here i ain't I know, thinking a million man. years i'll be on this podcast with you guys man, but i appreciate <laughs> it. you already know man much love much respect man all right y'all so the next one in the books y'all have a blessed one be safe out there y'all peace easy yeah